Drinks are on me with my chime card. Okay, guys, we got to talk about one thing. Riverdale will be ending with season seven. Um, I'm really sad. I'm, I'm really sad about it. Uh, but part of me is also happy that now that Riverdale's kind of like found itself and been pretty decent actually recently, that it's going to end like on a high. It's not going to keep going and going and going and get worse and worse and worse every season, you know? And the actors only signed on for that long and, you know, I'm sure they're ready to move on and do their own things, which is going to be so exciting to, you know, follow them around. I do think that they're still going to have to do some type of spinoff with some of the characters from the show. I don't know who yet. I think it'd be cool to do a Cheryl and Tony spinoff because Madeline has always shown interest in continuing and same with Vanessa Morgan, which, you know, I'm all for it and I would be all for that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's sad that it's that it's going to be coming to end, but I'm really happy that we get one last season after this to, you know, wrap the story up. And I'm glad that it's not like these other shows, unfortunately, that got canceled at, like it, right where they were at, you know, they got to finish their season. That was it. So I'm glad that we're going to get a season to wrap it up. It's, it's bittersweet. I'm happy for the actors that they get to like do some other projects now, but you know, part of my heart is, is a little bit sad that Riverdale's going to end. It's kind of like one of those things I have a love and hate relationship with, but I also am going to miss it like crazy. So yeah, I just wanted to put that in here and, and talk a little bit about it with you guys. Let me know what you think, what you think is going to happen and what you feel, you know, let me know. But yeah, let's get into the video. All right, guys, it is time for Riverdale. I'm so excited. Okay, we get we get Heather this episode, I'm assuming, since the last one literally, like, ended with Heather showing up. Um, Barchi, obviously, which I'm looking forward to. You know me, I'm always looking forward to that. Um, I don't know. I'm just, like, really excited for this episode. I'm sorry it's late. Um, I've been... <laughs> I, I got sick again. I have one tonsil, just one, that's, like, massive with, like, tonsil stones and stuff, and I'm just, like, having terrible pain and just tightness and just, it's just not it, you know? It's just not it. So, I apologize, but, yeah, I'm excited to get back on track and upload some videos here and watch Riverdale. Okay, I want to get into this, guys. Uh, just a quick reminder that if you want to see the uncut reactions to Riverdale, the link at the top of my description will take you to my Patreon, and there you can watch the entire episode along with me, uncut, meaning the full episode. So, if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Otherwise, let's get into it, guys. Guys, I'm not kidding. I'm really, I'm, I'm so scared. Oh my god. Okay. And now I've been working no. at the Greendale Public Library. Oh my god. Wait. Seven years. How marvelous. I get. They can like ease us into it. Oh my god. But tell me about you, Cheryl. Are you gay? <laughs> unattached. I was seeing someone special, named Tony. We've both gone on to forge different paths. Aww. We're friends. I miss Shoni. Nothing serious or long term. Nothing that compares to you. Oh my goodness. Damn it, I want that cheesy hour. cheesy shit. I better get going or I'll miss the midnight bus. Girl, you can't down. you can't just bring that shit up and then Ugh. Would you mind helping me? Sure, of course. Why don't I come back tomorrow? Aww. Or you can stay the night. Oh, was that that same chick that was there before? Which rotted under our family dining That I was like, oh, I hope she's gay. <laughs> and your father was groomed by his mother to kill, wasn't he? Mm, my disturbing inheritance, yes. <laughs> you need to move out of it ASAP. Is there a place you can go to? A boyfriend's house or her girlfriend's? A uh, boyfriend. She's like, damn it. <laughs> she can be gay vibes. you requested a transfer to help with TV. <gasps> Are you going to move in together? Oh, of course. And... Jillian or just Drake if you prefer. Why is this so gay? Why was that so gay? Would you mind if I moved in here while I untangle all of my Aww. emotional childhood trauma? Imagine he said no. Aw. Aw. Take as long as you need. We would love to have you. Right, bingo. No, I don't want him to say you can stay as long as you need. I want him to be like, no, I want you to stay here forever till you're old and great well how about the fact that i'm anthony's mother and a yeah, high school what? guidance counselor with a master's degree in social work period All the points that will be brought up in court what does kevin even have like 
But Kevin doesn't have any say in this. How about you, Fangs? I don't Are understand that. Uh, yeah, I was a truck Working driver. on being and useless. In the meantime, we could just put the diner into storage. And once I secure a piece of protected land, we can <laughs> Girl, what? Pops. Look, Percival clearly sees Pops as a threat. Why don't you try to take him down first? I know she's panicking, but like, how about we try but to take him to down do before fast. you just completely because break Percival down Pops? Because allegedly going to be bulldozing in the next few days. Yeah, well, he sucks. <laughs> but don't worry about it. There'll be nothing there for him to knock down. Oh my god. We use your gift for our mutual benefit. And how would that work? Scam people. Mentalist acts. Like the kind in Vegas. He's gonna be like Chris Angel, my mind, mind freak. Andrew's construction is gonna tear down and rebuild Pops. Uh, this a uni job? It is, Carlos, which means uh, health benefits, time and a half, pension plans, and no scabs. What do you guys say? You where ready the fuck is he getting this money? Yeah. How's he just doing all these projects and like where is he getting money? He don't work besides as a teacher, and a teacher does not get money like that. But I want to start pulling my weight around here, Tony. I don't want the judge. Wait, <laughs> what are they gonna do with the bar? The white worm can't like be brought. It's in the basement, isn't it? They can't bring the basement with them unless they dug a new one. If that's the case, they might as well make it huge inside. I couldn't do any of this without you. I hear you. I hear you. I no, just he sucks. Let's be honest. That I possibly can to help provide for baby Anthony. We'll make this work. There's just, they're as stale as a piece of bread. Nope, nope, nope. The trauma, stop going to the house. Where did you get that cat? Granny got him for us. How, oh, he's crazy. <laughs> that sucks. Imagine getting that feeling from a child. Don't they, shouldn't they be like packing all the stuff? I still don't understand how how this makes sense. Always happy to help. Uh, what would you say if I told you that I- I feel like she got a little crush on her. Acquired the ability to see auras around people who are threats. Maybe Dagwood inherited the gene and that's why I could see his aura. Because he's a, <laughs> a killer in, in the making. Get the twins tested for the gene. Find out if but also you're on your boat she or only sees the so. aura if someone's like actively a threat. You know. It helped me self-actualize. That's beautiful. I mean, I too have dabbled in the occult. Tell me more about that. They work together. For some reason, like part of me is scared that that she's evil or something. Or like, what if he gets Percival gets through to her? Like that's bad. Sorry to intrude. Oh my god. I just, uh... I thought I'd check on my property and on this fine crew you've assembled. And I would like to offer each and every one of you a place on our crew. It's long term, higher wages, signing bonus, and not a penny in union dues. And of We're course, long -term union members Fangs is going to go. Actually, I'm interested. Fangs, you can't be serious. Tony and I are drowning in legal bills. Aren't not you? surprised. Aww. <laughs> is it? One hundred fifteen thousand six hundred fifty-eight. It is indeed Bravo Forsyth, seer of the South Side. Plot twist: There's a little screen in the blindfold, and she has a camera on it. Ew, f you. Ugh. How did they just like completely butcher Reggie's character? <gasps> oh, we left what this the truck f fully loaded last night. I locked it myself. Uh, who still booths and tables? Wait, Archie. You have to see this. Oh God. What? We're getting it all out of here again. Double time. Come Damn. On. And I will he really got everything put back in there. What a dickhead. And of course, it's gonna make more people just want to leave. I want you off that property. Remember? No, 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 no. What you want? Is you I was gonna say. Contents destroyed. That is true. But like, he just wanted her to leave. You know. So I wonder if. Maybe he didn't have anything to do with that, but I have no idea who else could do that, you know? Ah! Help! Help! What happened? Sam got electrocuted, trying to move the jukebox. Oh my god. What the f***? And the girl has the gene, but the boy does not. I knew it was gonna do that. 
I knew that was gonna happen. Maybe that enzyme is masking your ability to detect the aura in question. But then why would Dagwood have it? You don't think she'd hurt them, do you? Not intentionally, but she's in deep with Percival Pickens, and if the twins have any inclination towards violence and mayhem... I don't, I don't trust them, them little that. shitheads. Screw those twins, they're so creepy. You act with Jones. I want to cut. Wow. He has some f***ing nerve. You. Wow. What would happen if I told Percival you're the one that put a hit on Hiram? That tidbit alone would destroy your career, your reputation. He's a piece of shit. Why are job. they ruining him? Right? Like, they're literally ruining his character. Join this crew. He's paying almost double what Archie is. Thanks. Percival is evil incarnate. He's trying to dismantle Riverdale, and for all we know, he could have been responsible for baby right? Anthony's kidnapping. People are saying he can control their minds. Things is Kevin, garbage. Alice? Baby Anthony will be my tether. Dude, you're so goddamn stupid. The lovers. You yearn for connection, intimacy. Yo, this is the flirting, though. Jesus. Don't we all yearn for those things? Those eyes. She's given her the eyes. This is why I never liked him, even in high school. I know. <laughs> He's the worst, but he has a certain piece of information that could destroy me. You can't erase them as well can you you mean what mind wipe reggie not his entire mind small <laughs> it may be holy shit just I, the fact that i while you're at it wipe all his toxic crazy shit off too please order to hit on my father yeah well, you know i was wondering are we about surprised <laughs> i've made my peace with it i like seeing them interact i feel like they never had many interactions together what the hell? Who the f Did he just like take it over? What the f That was weird. Okay, look, Archie, I will I will figure out our ghost problem, but we still need to move the diner before Percival seizes control of the land. We will. Here's my time card. I please off that was tragic i can't get over how bad that was <laughs> but here are two things that i know we both love pop steiner and andrew's construction can we put our differences aside at least until we get this one job finished in honor of my dad is it gonna get through to him emotional tether right presence seems to short circuit your ability to detect for us interesting though maybe there's some kind of workaround well, reading auras is an She can't see the auras of the people Part that are the most psychological, dangerous. Biological. Otherwise, I've been meaning to ask, how's living with the boyfriend? <laughs> Why do I feel like she's hitting on her? They have unfinished business here on this mortal coil. Concur. I've had some experience facilitating they communication cute. between mortals and spirits. Perhaps we... Both can help. Dude. Cheryl is a fucking simp. <laughs> there they are. Who will speak for the dead? <laughs> I will. Gilda Snow. Why are you still here, spirits? Riffin will be wax. Honestly, this shit's fucking crazy. Wants to destroy the diner to cripple the resistance and build his stupid train here. Train mm. here? Wait. Or why does that frighten you? Is he building the ghost train? What the hell is the ghost train? An engine that grants its conductor great power. Dominion over the realms of living and the dead. Oh, so he wants the ghosts to be there. How could you steal those children from me? I'm their grandmother. You are not in the You're right a psychopath. Care of children. I am trying to protect them. Protect Where are they? Trying to protect them from me? Yeah. Bitch. Mary. How dare you? How dare she? Shut up. I feel like she's gonna see her aura. You need to stop looking for monsters under yep. the bed mm -hmm. and in the closets. I call that shit. And just stop and take a really good look in the mirror. You have always been a bad person. Okay, calm down. This might mean that the El Royal winds up haunted for a time. <laughs> well, ghosts don't scare me. Ghosts. So. 
Me neither. Uncle Frank. He got through to him. And if you have us. Oh. Thank God he got through to him. Damn. That's a relief about your uncle Arch. I'm happy for you. Yeah, and it probably means there's still hope for your mom, Eddie. There's no hope for that woman. She got done fed up when FP left. I could use all the help I could get. Especially if it's from you. Oh! That was so cute. Can I just say that, like, anytime Betty offers to help or literally offers to, like, just exist around Barchie, not around Barchie, around Archie, he just, like, melts. Like, her asking if she can move in with him for the time being, and he just immediately was like, oh, yes. <laughs> you know, like, no matter what, he just wants to be around her, and it's so cute. Sorry, it's small bills tonight. You know, I'll have to count it. Take all the time you need. Oh, distraction. That is so smart. I want one of those. Everything all right, Reginald? Screen type yeah, comics. Good. That would be so cool to have. About that thing. Oh, you don't remember, bitch. That's so funny though that he like remembers that he was gonna tell him something, but not what it is. And she said we still have a ton of work to do, Red. Oh, we did. Aw. Couple of the guys want to load up the truck, head to the Hour Royale. Why did I never notice that there was outdoor the seating guy. at Pops? I just now saw that. What you did back at Pops. The, the tension now. Like, the f***ing tension. Death magic? Yes, Cheryl. Necromancy? What the f***? I'm not just Wiccan, Cheryl. Cheryl is I'm dripping. A witch. Bitch, me too. They taught me everything I know. She is so turned on. <laughs> you may be a witch as well. I haven't used that word to describe myself yet. And then there's this. Oh. Would you teach me what you know? I've been walking along this witchy path for quite some time, but mostly alone. Aw. Cheryl. Period. Kiss. Perhaps Jughead's telepathic abilities have gotten stronger since they first manifested. What do you know about hey, it? Frank. The blind mouse is here. No. No. Everything okay? Yeah. I know you were going to drive this in the Sweetwater River. Or maybe a big bonfire at the town dump. I was going to say, how do you know that? But he was just saying Frank, that. You're busted. How'd you know? Give me the keys. Cause I'm a bad bitch. You f don't try, know. Uncle Frank. Oh. You brought this. What a dumbass. What a dumbass. Uh, Oof. Uh, don't work with me, bitch. Don't work with me, bitch. I'm invulnerable again. We're ready to fight. Hit me again, bitch. <laughs> She's like, don't look at me. Benjamin Moore for the win again. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the of a group effort. they were gonna like Speaking build of. it looking like the diner, like on the on the land, not just inside. <laughs> My whole life, I've been fiercely independent, thinking I could take on everything myself. I don't understand why we're still seeing these two together. Like we need to be the most boring, unflavorable couple ever on the show. So boring. Maybe we should get married. Blech. What? Where's all this coming from? When she wants to get married just so it looks better to the court. Oh my god. She's gonna marry him for the court. Otherwise you could lose that advantage. And possibly baby Anthony. Eesh. Oof. I hear And you. I don't want to lose my son, so let's get married and then I'm gonna divorce so you, you after for Cheryl. Will you marry me? Ew, what? That is disgusting. This could be a natural expansion of your ability sensing everyone who poses a danger, physical or emotional. I wonder if she's gonna see an aura around her and she's gonna start like seeing a bunch of auras or something. The scary part is 
On herself? <gasps> I don't know who this person is a threat to. No. Anyone who comes close to her? No. Or even the people that she loves. Oh. March. All right, The Revealed was season six, episode 15, I believe, of Riverdale. This was really good. Okay, there were so many, like, supernatural aspects of this episode, which, like, wasn't really expecting that, but I'm also not mad at it. Um, I really thought that Archie's uncle was, like, doing the right thing, and I feel like maybe when he showed him the picture at first, I think it worked, and then Percival just saw right through it. I think because he said he was, like, looking at it all day or whatever, I'm sure Percival saw it and knew what was going on, you know, that he was trying to make a personal tie so that it wouldn't work on him and probably rerouted that thought entirely. The whole thing with Betty and the auras is wild. I still, like, I still am confused about it because she can see people with the gene, but then she can't see, but, like, she saw her mom and then now she saw herself, which is crazy. I feel like Drake is suspicious. At first, I thought she was just being, like, sweet and charming, you know, but... It seemed like she was trying to get Betty out of the house. She kept asking, like, so how's the move out doing? How, like, are you going to move? Are you going to do this? Which, like, isn't bad, but she sure knows a lot. And she's such a random person for them to throw in here to be, like, Betty's little therapist when it could be somebody else that we've seen before, you know, that she's talking to. I'm not entirely trusting of her. I don't know what she would have to do with it, but I still don't trust her. She could be controlled by Percival. She could be, I don't know. Um, God, and Betty seeing Dagwood's aura was scary, especially with the little cat. I don't know. And Dagwood doesn't even have the gene, but Juniper does. I feel like, I feel like it's going to be turned into something else. Not necessarily, like, an evil thing. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird how it can, like, it changed. You know, she could, she couldn't see people with the gene but then she could because her power is growing kind of like Jughead's he's able to like expand his power but then Betty seeing her own I kind of hope that they don't bring back Dark Betty just because like that was such a huge thing that was always brought up and I'd love to see it not brought up or if it is brought up to make it show that she's like stronger than that now you know I hope she doesn't keep it from Archie because like I could see her keeping it from him and just this dense whoa I could see her keeping it from Oh my god. I could see you're keeping it from him and distancing yourself and I don't want that. I don't want him to like not know why she's freaking out because like I know she's entirely just like worried for his life, you know, and she doesn't want to hurt him. But at the same time, I feel like him not knowing what's going on is just going to like cause problems. And I hope that she doesn't just leave him in the dark about that. The whole thing about like taking apart Pops and then rebuilding it somewhere was like kind of weird to me. I feel like, first of all, Archie's doing it pro bono. Where is he getting this money to pay these people? And also, you can't just take apart a place brick by brick and then like rebuild it brick by brick. I feel like it wouldn't be, it's not gonna be sturdy like that, you know? I don't know. And I feel like that just seems not possible. Who knows though, it's Riverdale. I don't know. Um, the Heather scenes were like so sexually loaded their chemistry is like off the charts and Cheryl's hard eyes for her are like so prevalent in this episode speaking of hard eyes Tony and Fangs are engaged apparently I don't know we don't we don't know what he said but no 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 that was the weirdest shit ever she literally is only doing this to get Anthony back because it looks better to the to the court but you know what the problem is is that she's lying to him about why she's doing it she's making it seem like this is all happening because she feels bad that she underestimated him or that she you know didn't make him feel important but like that's not a that's not a reason to propose either you know she definitely doesn't want to marry him and i think that's kind of stupid um but yeah i'm so here with the cheryl and heather stuff i don't know what's going to come from it but we find out that heather is a witch but she's also practicing like dark magic which is kind of scary um, something kind of tells me that she's going to end up being evil. I don't know. I don't entirely trust her yet for some reason. She said that she's going to teach Cheryl all she knows and they're really cute and their chemistry is like just 
in your face explosive however there's something about her that i don't entirely trust yet but if she is a witch i'm not that worried about percival getting to her to be honest because i feel like that's kind of like what cheryl wasn't gonna be like made to do things by him either because she's a witch you know veronica and jughead team up um to make some money for jughead to read minds at the babylonium and they end up wiping reggie's mind from knowing that she put in a hit to kill her dad and now he knows that he's he's forgetting something but he doesn't know what it is unfortunately that gave percival and the information of jughead can now do this you know so it's a mess it's a damn mess the betty and archie scenes were just adorable as always i said this in the reaction but i just love how he gets so excited whenever she like plans to do anything with him like comes to help and he gets so giddy about it asked to like temporarily move in he gets so giddy about it he's always just so happy that she's there you know um i don't know what to think about the alice stuff and why her hers aura started showing and why why betty's aura started showing maybe she's seeing different emotions now which is why she saw her mom's and in her own i don't know i feel like there's got to be some type of explanation for that because it doesn't make sense now for it to just be because of that gene and i really think that something's going on with drake because they just like had her be betty's you know therapist this episode but, but for what like why didn't we just have somebody else on the show be the person that betty talked to you know but instead they had us like see drake over and over again and then she's learning things about betty that are like very important and like crazy i just don't fully trust her i don't know but yeah tabitha and the whole pops thing the ghost storyline was interesting um don't know what the point of it was to be honest but it was good i guess now the freaking now pops is is in the el royale which i thought they were gonna like do it in the parking lot or something and then like rebuild it in the parking lot but they literally are putting it in the el royale which is kind of funny but whatever but yeah now juniper and dagwood are being i don't know where they are actually because they're definitely not with betty but she had taken them away to be away from alice because she thinks that alice could be a threat to them which now she sees that maybe she is a threat um, she said some very, very, very hurtful things to Betty that I know she's going to be apologizing for once Percival lets her mind free. But yeah, this episode was wild. Um, not like too, too much happened in terms of like furthering the storyline, but it was really entertaining and all over the place and funny. That chime card scene, I can't, I can't. That was terrible. That I couldn't, like that was, listen, I love a good promo. I love a good like throwing the brand in there but that was like that was like a fucking progressive commercial here drinks are on me with my chime card what please don't please don't <laughs> that was that was hilarious um but yeah really enjoyed the episode i'm really really looking forward to the next one i feel like it's gonna be crazy and yeah i wanna oh god i wanna see how it's gonna I don't know. I want to see the aftermath of this episode. I think it's going to be really interesting. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.